Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for a hot topic, and this says Sarah Psus Tinubu demands details of Obasanjo, Buhari, and others' loan. Now, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, has filed a suit against the government of President Bola Tinubu over the failure to publish spending details of the loans obtained by go the government of former presidents Olukshego Obasanjo, Omar Musa Yaradwa, Goodluck Jonathan, and Muhammadu Buhari. The suit was filed against the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edum, and the Debt Management Office DMO. Now, joining us to have a conversation and make sense of all of this is Shola Omol Omolayo, as a public affairs analyst. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Pardon. All right. So we're talking about, you know, Sarah having to sue the government um, over loans that has been taken from previous administration. For, so from um, former president Olushego Basenjo to Omar Musa Yaradwa, good luck, Jonathan, um, president, former president Buhari, and now obviously uh, the current president Tinubu. Um, so what do you think about this? Sarah having to sue them for the loans. What do you think about this first? Let's just get your take before we dive right in. Yeah, uh, it's so funny when Sarah come up with all kinds of um, notion against some individual um, leaders of our nation in place of the president. I've never, I don't know how effective some of these their accusation or um, trying to persecute any of leaders. How I would how they achieve anything? I've never seen on record how Sarah have been able to pave the way for a kind of government the citizen will be looking out for. I just see this group of body as one of the broken homes of activists that are not together anymore in fighting for any genuine cause. If Sarah needs to be serious the way we now begin to think why can't they go back to the days of the military these are organization uses their instrument that is owned and purchased by the tax of nigeria to invade us by in a way calling up a coup and taking power from the people that own the right to leadership why can't they jog back to the days of the military? Bringing it back, I mean, jog will it back to the years of the 1966 when the military took over from the civilian government. If they know they are serious, can they give a fight? If they can get it right at home, they can also take it to the international body, which might even set a foundation for a realistic activism that is willing to challenge authority. Not to talk of coming to, I believe it's just a noise making institution for now, telling us or trying to make this present government to make or write a report of the past. Has they ever succeeded in doing one? Why do you think something tenable will be given out with this fight against mm -hmm. Tinubu? Which court are they going to? Is it the same Nigerian court? that an average citizen of this nation don't even believe in them, not to talk of fighting them, and you think Nigerians will listen. I don't see anything mm. good news coming out of Okay, so uh, I think the credibility of the court is one, but then uh, the other part is having to even go to the court in the first place. And Sarap's argument is, in fact, let me read this, it says, in, this, in the suit, Sarap is arguing that no one should be able to pull curtains of secrecy around decisions on the spending of public funds which can be revealed without injury to the public interest. Democracy requires accountability, and accountability requires transparency. So their argument, obviously, is that for you to be Nigeria's president, of course you have documents of everything that has gone on in, pa in the past administrations, right? And so why can't the public know about this? If you are saying that you want the public to be able to trust you, trust your government, you should be able to let us know what we, where we are. 
What is our debt profile at the moment? How much are we owing? What are the loans that we've taken? So that we can start to rebuild our economy from there. Because obviously, if we're taking loans, we need to pay back, pay back those loans. Either we're paying back in the funds that, you know, was gotten, or maybe we're giving them, them something in return. For instance, our crude have been gauged for years now because of certain loans that we've taken so don't you think it's right for Serap, who is acting uh, you know as 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 a cso for some nigerians or most nigerians if i may say don't you think it's right for them to ask you know president tinubu that what has been going on with all of this past administration of course you should be able to see you know a, a, a document or something that has said this is what we've taken so far as a country don't you think they're in their rights to actually ask such questions? When I when I hear when I hear logic like this in questions, when I hear words like this on the streets, when I hear the print, when I read from the print media, and I listen to the uh, 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 medias of all kinds, yeah, it makes me remember the song of uh, Shino Peter. When he okay. says, Grandma, 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 <laughs> no be, Grandma, Grandma, no you. You, know, you say all of these things. What was the result they received or they got in the days of Buhari? What was their fight and their result in the days of Jonathan? What was their fight and their result in the days of Yad Hadwan? What was their fight and their result in the days of Obasanjo? John? Come on, guys. We even have investigative journalism, journalists in this country. How many of them are going to work? Are you not in this country? We've been the sitting president, the executive power, and trying to make something out of almost nothing, and your governors is immediately responding that it is not possible. Can you even fight it now, not to talk of fighting the past? If you can't fight it in now, showing a strength of engaged, uh, going back to the future, what is the certainty? I mean, going back to the past, what is the certainty of the future? You say all of these things. Can Sarah go deep and sponsor investigative journalists? To go deep and bring out his thought instead of giving a fight to who? Who are they fighting? Who, are, who is even the leaders of this Sarah? Who, who are they? The joint activists have been detected. They are no more. They can't, they can't give a, 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 a strong hope. My sister, I, I, with due respect, maybe if we have something we can talk about, yeah. good, good for us. So you sound like you sound you sound like you've given up already because um, you sound like there's no there's no form of credibility to the courts. The federal government is not going to do anything, even if we're asking. You're already saying it's grammar, so we're all having the talks, but nothing is going to be done. So that already, you know, has told me there is a problem in Nigeria. Because if if you're saying if you already feel some type of way. Of course, I'm sure there's so many people who feel some type of way who are already, um, you know, feeling like they've been bamboozled or they've been ambushed or put to a corner whereby nothing they say means anything. And that's why you can even say that whatever Serap is saying or Serap approaching the court, nothing is going to happen. So that shows there is a fundamental problem. And how do we get out of that problem? So if Serap is asking, Serap is a makeup of certain individuals who are also Nigerians and they have the interest interest of the people so if they are to represent these people and we need to have some level of transparency how do you think we should go about that let me ask you a question with your respect yeah you are yoruba language you no i'm not yoruba. yoruba let me bring in the latin word from a musician called lagbaja okay listen to lagbaja he said Excuse me. Now we are trying to find our peace. There is hunger in the land. 
And Sarah is telling me that one person should come and give an account of what? A student is not going to school and if somebody is coming to ask the father that the, moral, the money he, he borrowed, he should pay back. Which one is important here? Is it the, moral, uh, the money that he borrowed that he has not paid back? Or all the school fees of the child that is so important? What are these guys talking about? Do we have all this time anymore? Do we have time? I'm not giving up. If I'm giving up, if I have given up or I'm trying to give up, I won't be reading about them and hearing this, this, this accolades of self uh, 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 honor in telling us we are going to court or going to work or somebody should come and give an account. The government that is there now has not, been, has not even found his feet. We are asking him to go outside for what? What? Finding his feet to power. The powers within the powers, he has not even been able to control that part of it. Not to talk of certain putting Nigeria in a base of movement. Where unemployment is ravaging every day. Is that what we are talking about? Where a, mono, a, mono, a, a monopoly bash, a, a, a instrument is put to suppress Nigerians. Where you don't have fuel, you are not too confident of what you are going to eat tomorrow. You are asking me, don't want government. Please, can you still suspend that action and let's go, go, go for the real show? You are invited to a party. Not even a bottle of water was given to you. And they are telling you the celebrant want to dance. Whose celebrant is that? <laughs> what is this celebrant? Do you understand what we are saying here? I'm not giving up. There's still hope. But I'm just telling you that is not what they should be doing for now. That's why I make reference to the past. That what have they achieved in the ones, the, the ones that have governed in the past? If they are so serious about it. Do they, have, do they have any data? Do they have any proof to challenge this present government? What are we saying? We are making money from our seaports. Yet Nigeria is saying we are only. Nigerians are begging for a kind of salvage. We are having insecurity. What has Sarah discovered in the area of, this, uh, of security to, 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 to help this government? Or to tell Nigerians that Nigerians expose this government to Nigerians that this this, this God set of leaders are the ones that are not taking care of our security. Why can't you pin a point on our roads that is getting bad every day where the governors of states are not doing anything about it? Why can't they... they, they it's like we are cheating our attention to the, to, to the central over there. What are the states? What are Sarah done concerning states? What is their, what is their extent of power? Can they extend this legal fight outside this country? Outside the shore of this country? That's what I'm asking. What have they achieved? What is their template that we can say, okay, talking of news and placing on this thing on people, how long would, can they succeed in this, legal, in this legal fight? What are we saying? I'm not saying they should not, they should not ask questions or sue anybody they want to sue. But excuse me, I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. And you are telling me we got work to do. Omo, if energy no deep body, nothing will happen. It's when you feed me, when you don't feed me, when I don't chop, you feed them, you make a take like what can go shoot. But when energy no day, we just stay the look, they talk. This same grammar. And we will still they talk. Nobody's giving up. We are here together. But don't give me shit, my fellow. Language, please. This is national television one. And um, I love the fact that you've said all of these things from poverty, hunger in the land, um, to insecurity, to unemployment, to our kids not even being educated. So there's a lot, obviously, that we're going through as a nation. And I understand that because I am also a Nigerian. And of course, I'm here. You know, we're all going through this together. And I think this is the same thing that Sarah, you know, is, is asking for. Because, you know, in their statement, they said the information may help explain why despite several billions of dollars in loans obtained by successive governments, millions of Nigerians continue to face extreme poverty and lack access to basic public goods and services. So now we keep taking loans. Right, that's the argument. We keep taking loans. But then we're not seeing what these loans are being used for. 
it's okay to take loans even you know as a business sometimes if you don't have the capacity to maybe work on a project you don't have the financial resources you say okay you know what let me get a soft loan to be able to do this and then i make profit of course i will pay back the loan but now in nigeria we keep taking loans that we're not seeing what they are being used for our roads are depleting our uh, schools are not being, um, you know, they're not, they don't have enough libraries of, or, or um, even teachers to teach the kids, libraries with books for the kids to be able to read. We don't have good infrastructure. We don't have good healthcare system. We don't have, we really don't have so much that we can say, yes, this is what we're holding on to. And so the argument is, if you're taking this amount of loans, what are you using it for? At least for us to be able to start from somewhere, we need to know where we are. Don't you think that's a good argument at all? Because you've highlighted all of these things that are wrong with Nigeria at the moment. So how do we move from here if we don't even know where we are to get started? Beauty makes us listen to news. Hmm? So, so, are you sure we are in this country? <laughs> you are asking of the now. Sarah is asking of the past. You see the difference? No, it's a successive you... government. So from when we had democracy, so from 1999, former President Olusha Gobasanjo, to where we are as a country right now. So let's see everything to form a trajectory, to know what the trend is like. All it. You can't bring games. You can't. You, I can tell anybody for free. If you want to be honest, thank God I have never gone to the polling booth to think that I'm even going to vote for Basanjo. It has never occurred to my consciousness. But either you like it or not, Obasanjo did well, the best he could do as a leader. Nigerians forget too fast. We are just like the children of Israel. What we get now is what we know. Obasanjo came into power in 1999 mm -hmm. and he left in 2007. Check 1999 back to 1970, I mean 1985. Nigeria started going down from 1985, most especially in 1986 during the days of General Papangida. Um, press, civilian president. Go check books for God's sake. Check your archive. Check the streets of Lagos. We were moving forward. When they took over government in 1983, December 31st, by the 2nd of January, 1984, you want us to go to the past just like Sarah is asking question. Our great fighter, she, Gani Pawemi, went and said they have taken us back 10 years. That they will have allowed our democracy to continue to grow. Our problem is just not financial embezzlement. Character political character, when you destroy such an institution, you find it very difficult to hold a nation future. So, put down to 1993, push it forward to 1998. Thank God that some group of individuals even had the heart to begin to channel the journey of Nigeria to another heart. Obasanjo came in when the stage of war, the cloud was so thick that Lagos is becoming deserted. People were running to their villages, be you Yoruba, Igbo, or Hausa. That was when you brought a man to come and maintain peace. Check your record. The insider who brought Obasanjo in, yeah, democracy is in place, but there is there are machineries that prepare some of these things. They did not ask of us to come and build road. Neither was he called to come and give you light. He was called to come and maintain peace. If you forget history, this is what you get. He came into office 
He himself even said before he came, when he was visited, I remember vividly, dear Inota, he said, how many presidents did they want to make out of me? Which means he was not coming for a project building of financial restoration. It was sent, it was for Nigeria not to go into war. Between 1999 and 2003, it was a build sanitation for Nigeria. If you forget, and if Sarah is not checking books, let me also tell you, in this same country, you can't travel out of this country for those who travel in those days of, two, of 1999, backward a little bit, you are screen check in all airport because Nigeria is start to be a drug nation and a corrupt nation. Where do you want us to start from? When people talk of finance, I shake my head. The Yoruba, uh, the Latin says that he later about the Tomo, the Riluma who check that in Latin. That is where we now find ourselves. That is why people don't even know what to hold on to. You are talking of financial error when character has not been built. When character has not been built. For me, I say, third time of a subject that has depleted, that depleted all the characters of politics. They are all involved. It is Latin. We will find out. Check it out. You know, we are all involved because we are not checking out not to know where we are coming from. To find out where we are to be preparing for the future. You talk about money, 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 money. That is all you talk about. You don't talk about character and the individual people you are bringing to power. You keep talking money. You talk of dollar. You say that you don't know what they, they, they use the money for. 160 million naira was spent on 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 bed. where is the money coming from your the yash that was bought where is the money coming from you're not taking all of this out character please character local government has been destroyed and you say you don't know where this money is going character character we are not giving up we keep talking talking about it so you now bring in somebody called yahadua political error or because you want to salvage a region, we still have regional problem, which is tribal. Tribal. Mm. That one not just was not just speak from either the North Central. It was to make basis of of language. We are talking of finance. Why can't we just go deep inside the money, money, money? How much did this? Okay, so are you are saying? Are you saying? I mean, you've talked about Obasanjo, um, you know, bringing peace to Nigeria because we're trying to work on the verge of war as at that time. And then Yaradwa, obviously, language differences and all of that. So are you saying that all of this, the financial as aspect don't matter? Because if you're saying you're hungry and you're saying people are in poverty and we need um, to be able to feed, we need money, we need the financial resources to be able to feed. So are you saying we need to neglect that and just think of character building? Oh. You see? You see where we are missing it? Why are you fighting the past when you cannot even maintain the, the present? Now, the labor force are asking for a certain amount of pay. Yeah. What, is that? what role are they playing in that regard? Where the executive, the national executive are saying, this is what we want to pay. Immediately, the state governors are not saying anything. Ah, are responding almost immediately all, all the statistics governors that they can't pay and sell out and all the forces are not coming together in first putting a fight forward to ask the governors why when their take home pay from abuja has increased for those who are getting about 900 billion their target has entered into one point something trillion and then ever since then there have not been changes what is Sarah saying about this? Why is Sarah not asking questions? The elementary one that the other is it because we're in Lagos, those who in Lagos in Abuja. That's all we have. You think the whole of Nigerians know what is really going on about this question? Excuse me, sister. How many educated intelligent men do we have now? How many? In the days of old, as a young boy. The elderly man we asked a young graduate that, what do you think about Nigeria? 
It is the young grandeur that will be telling the elderly one that this is what I think is going to happen with this government. But ask our own, this, my, 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 my coming generation, so to say, what do you think about Nigeria? That thing hits me. It was so boy, look that one day my head now. That smile will just get money. He cried. That's out. Somebody who should be discussing Nigeria with you about anything where they want like me they do. It means every day the whole chop. An educated fellow, a degree or that. I think there's a fundamental problem, obviously, from what you're saying. Of course, there's a fundamental problem, and it just shows how corruption one has eaten deeply um, into our nation, and that's the reason why some people feel it's okay to go there and just steal money and not bother about their constituents back home, or they can say they want to, you know, splurge 160 million naira for SUVs, saying that the roads are bad when you are supposed to ensure that the roads are good, not just for you but for everyone. I know that there's a fundamental issue, you know, with the makeup of nigeria as a whole but then i think we need to start to ask questions do more work if we're saying that we want to be closer or the government wants needs to be closer to the people the people also need to be closer to the government wherever we're asking not just asking demanding for transparency and accountability and i think that's what Sarah is doing here and i think other people need to ask these questions notwithstanding do we need to also let them know what we're feeling as a nation or, or as a people that we're hungry and we need certain measures and certain policies in place for you to ensure that you know our economy is thriving we have the quality education we need for our kids we we have good infrastructure we have good healthcare system we have all of these things of course we need to ask all of that because as a nation, we need to grow, we need to evolve, we need to flourish, especially for the generations unborn. So it's important that we ask all of these questions, both where we're coming from and where we're going to as a future. So I think if we all put our hands in the plow, we can get a better Nigeria. Some people are angry, some people are hungry, some people are just giving up. But it is important that we all come together. And with that being said, unfortunately, this is where we have to wrap it up on this segment. Mr. Shola, it is lovely, um, or rather, it was lovely having a conversation with you on this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you for having me. It is pleasant looking at your beautiful day this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we've been speaking with Shola Omolayo and he's a public affairs analyst. We've been discussing the fact that Sarah has, you know, sued the president um, and the finance minister on the loans that other past administrations have taken. And then they're just asking for more transparency and accountability. On this segment, this is where we have to wrap it up. We'll come back again with our next hot topic where we're discussing the minimum wage as federal government has offered 62,000 naira for the new minimum wage, but labor demands for 250,000 naira. Please stay with us.